Hi guys, I'm Chloe and I'd like to welcome you to this first edition of KG5 TV News. We'll be reporting on what's happening in and around the school and we're very excited to have you here with us for this first edition. One big recent event, of course, is Panache, which took place on March the 7th. We sent Shirley Ng to check it out. One of the greatest events in the KG5 school year is Panache, a yearly extravaganza of fashion, glamour, and style. This year, it takes place on Saturday, March 7th, so we're into the final stages of preparation. Uh, well, originally, I was supposed to just help out a little bit on the side, help with the seating, um, yeah. the security, I guess, on the night. Um, but now we've both been called in to, <laughs> to oh, host. Yeah. Um, so you're now looking year. at the two MCs of Panache, <laughs> suddenly. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of looking forward, we're looking yep, forward looking to that. Forward to we're looking forward to that. Of course, an enormous amount of work, planning and preparation goes into making this show happen. From rehearsing, to building the stage, to organizing the ticket sales. So basically this year's Panache is happening on the 7th of March and we've got a whole team, student, entirely student-led show and the benefactor for this year's show is World Vision. Um, we're aiming to have accommodate 400 guests at our show and this year we've got tons of sponsors such as IT, G2000, tons more that you should expect at our show. It's going to be great. Although a lot of organization goes into this, it is, of course, done for the benefit of our students. It's been, um, it's been a nice experience. I've uh, met a lot of new people and um, it's my first time doing this kind of thing, so I like it. And after all this hard work, I'm sure the show itself will be absolutely stunning. This is Shirley Ng from KG5 TV. Update. The show was absolutely stunning. With spectacular lights, wonderful designs, and honey sweet music, it has been called the best panache show yet staged at KG5. A real night to remember for all those involved in modeling, designing, or broadcasting. Once again, this is Shirley Ng from KG5 TV. Thanks, Shirley. We also had evening of music and dance recently, and before it took place, Ariel Daniel went backstage to watch the preparations. EOMD, Evening of Music and Dance, is one of the great events which brighten up the year at KG5. Already, our singers and dancers are working long hours to prepare a stellar performance, scheduled to take place on the 27th of February. Um, I really enjoyed teaching the middle school people, and sometimes even though it might be a bit frustrating, but then um, by the end of the day, you, I'm really proud to see like the overall results because they're really good. <laughs> UMD is designed to give students a chance to perform in front of a real audience and allows them to experience what it's like to put on and perform a big show. Tickets are currently available at the Activities Office and all the performers look forward to seeing you there. This has been Ariel Daniel reporting for KG5 TV News. Our youngest students had the chance to show their teamwork and strength in the tug of war competition. Over to Stefania at the field. KG5's annual middle school tug of war ran its finals on Friday the 23rd of January. So it started back in about 2012, 2013, um, the first time that KG5 had done it to any scale in the middle school. Um, yeah, so probably two or three years ago. The competition tests many things, fortitude, persistence and bulk primarily. The winners gain points for their house in the competition for the House Cup. This year's champions are Cozier. So, another tug of war competition has finished and it's one step closer to the House Cup for Cozier. Charity is a huge part of life at KG5 and the annual bake sales raise a lot for the groups we want to help. Mahima Galani braved the crowds for us. KG5 middle school students love two things, charity and cake. Annually these two passions come together to create the KG5 charity bake sale. These students produce cookies, cakes, and other baked goods for the delight of their classmates. However, there's a more serious side to this. All the work and effort that's put in here is intended to raise money for the school's chosen charities. We have our KG5 coordinator, Komal, for more details. Hi, Mahima. Thank you. So, yeah, as you rightly said, um, all these fundraising programs are aimed towards supporting our three charities, um, Cambodian Children's Fund, uh, Braille Without Borders and Mazarang Foundation. So Cambodian Children's Fund is a charity that aims to sustain communities um, in Cambodia, especially among students. And Braille Without Borders is a charity that helps um, visually impaired students um, reach to the same level of like academically as other students um, without visual or other um, 
impairments. And our last one is Mazarang Foundation, which aims to sustain environmental communities in South, um, South Asian, Southeast Asian countries. And um, they do this by having like forest um, programs that help like rebuild trees so that our environment is sustained in Asia. Thank you. So everyone's a winner. Charities benefit from our students' creativity, hard work, and love of cake. The drama department has been very busy. Stefania went to cover the Kapal Theatre Company visit. KG5's drama department is always keen to use the experience of professional practitioners to enhance the educational experience of their students. Today, a group of Year 9 students are working with the Kapow Theatre Company. So today we have Kevin Tomlinson from Kapow Theatre Company with us, and he's working with 28 Year 9s and two of our BTEC performing arts students. They're working on improvisation skills. Kevin is a professional actor and improviser, and he tours around the world, and he trains actors specifically in improvisation skills. Such experiences are important if drama students are to fully understand what it is like to work in the professional world. Um, it's about being creative and accepting each other's ideas and developing each other's ideas. Um, so being a better team player, being more creative, more constructive um, with uh, somebody else and also with yourself as well. Having more confidence in your ideas, um, taking an idea and developing it rather than destroying it or losing faith in it early on. And of course, it's a fun and enriching activity for the students themselves. I enjoyed the hat part. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I like the hat part. But like, I, I think all of us just enjoyed being a partner. That yeah, was really fun. Yeah. That was the, the whole thing was the whole yeah, thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Part, yeah, basically the whole thing. Yeah. And again from the drama department, we had the ISTA festival. Reese Cameron checked it out for us. ISTA, the International Schools Theatre Association, has been holding festivals in schools since 1978. This year, they are bringing the festival to KG5. We are being joined by many schools in Hong Kong, as well as China, Singapore, and Taiwan. Students will spend the weekend engaged in various activities, such as going on trips, preparing performances in workshops, and, of course, getting ready for the final performance. This year's theme is Lost Voices and is inspired from the history of Hong Kong. I think the, the idea of working as an ensemble with people that you've never met before is really, really great because you meet all these new people and you get together and you create something as a group and you have to work as a group. And I think that's really valuable. So yeah, and also the thing is you can um, learn new things because you're with different people, yeah. and different artists, different people that teach you as well, and you're going to be in a very new area. And of course, the main intention is that students learn a lot and have fun. I really enjoyed meeting new people from all over Asia and over Hong Kong. It was, it was new and it was fun. Well, uh, we haven't quite finished yet, but I found that like for the first sessions of the ensembles when we got to know each other, that was very, very fun. Yeah. Good luck to everyone involved in the festival. This is Reese Cameron from KG5 TV. Finally, we had Valentine's Day, a chance for KG5 to indulge their softer sides. We sent the very romantic UT off to see what happened. Once a year, everyday concerns are forgotten and attention turns to matters of the heart. Of course, this means it's Valentine's Day. In KG5, we display our love by sending gifts via courier that is sent straight to the lucky person. Of course, the real action is in the deliveries. Here is a team of Cupids delivering romance to the co costumes of KG5. It's a special day basically and we want to make people happy and we think doing these small acts of kindness shows you know, a lot of love and it's really nice. And there we have it, another successful Valentine's Day at KG5, the school of love. This is UT Kure reporting for KG5 TV. Well, there you have it, a roundup of activity at KG5. Please keep an eye out for the next edition of KG5 TV News and get in touch if you know of something we should cover. I'm Chloe Mao and thanks for watching.